Hello there, gentlemen. Welcome back to City Skylines. Just been browsing around and looking at things as times ago, and I just grabbed my traffic analyzer and I clicked on that road, and I realized that people coming out of this district or using this thing are going all over the city. So it's pretty apparent that we need to one way we could certainly relieve the amount of traffic on our roads. So we put or scattered some cargo terminals in other places, so that, say for example trains and things, or supplies trying to get to here, have other places they can possibly go to. So, here's a space I had my eye on, to put a train station in. This is one of several we're going to be putting in. Must be alongside a road. Yeah, I'm pretty happy sure there should be enough space. So we will grab a one-ray road. I think that's going to be the right side. We will find out. And grab a cargo terminal. Yeah, oh, no, apparently there is a spot just there where it's not too steep. Wow. Should be fun and game dealing with this. In the interim, we will be grabbing a road like that. And a road out, two of which we will have one. Let's start with that one. Come up to there, grab that. And then we'll just have to come straight out from here. One of which will come straight out. Rich. Come on. Come on. Fine. Down it is. Across. Link up there. And finally. Uh, split off from there. We come right back onto there. Nice. All right, that's that can do. Now we need to get the rail to it. Actually, there's a railway line over there. Looks like we're having a bridge. We're not going this way. Oh no. How about that for a railway bridge, ladies and gentlemen? How about that? That's a little steep and a little bit nerfy. But uh, the uh, distinct amount of the dirt that's gone on there. Let's uh, delete that and let's have that instead. No. Still insisting on providing a ridiculous amount of dipping in the middle, aren't you? Let's think about this. It doesn't necessarily play sensible. There we go. That's a flatter, a better path. Do we need to have a connection to there? Probably would be nice, but I'm pretty sure we don't need it. That's for departures, that's for people heading for that highway. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Grand. Yes, shiny. Brilliant. Amazing. So few of your trucks are actually in use, so I'm vaguely assuming that everything is working fine. So you can just 
can I, then you'll probably have to use something city to get anywhere. Okay. Let's... Use a straight line. The road come out a little bit. Turn the snap off. No, the road it knows. Oop, not quite what I wanted. I don't want to connect to either of those two points. I want to connect to a point in between. Fine. Um, let's actually. Uh, I don't want you guys to be able to turn around. That's the thing. Mm. Okay. Let's try one of those power lines just briefly. Getting ourselves to a road comes out to. There, and then we will get our one way slip road from here. Nice, alright, so they can turn around if they need to, but that doesn't mean they now have access to that end of it, which means they can now connect to all of these things. But that should probably help. So we've got that new railway station in, and probably some zoning. in as offices since they don't mind the noise so much. You are not completely watered, but now you are. Don't need that point. Alright, where else could we possibly benefit from a train station? Here. Most definitely here. So let's put in we want to have it on that side. It's going that way. One array road. Ooh, I've lost myself. There we go. So our one way road goes uh, this way. And then we will grab our cargo train station. Like so. A lot of commercial buildings. I'm quite happy about that. So we might get some level ups. The intro, we need to do some connection work. Could I pipe that in to the center of the city? I very well could, couldn't I? I very well could. Interesting. Yeah. Let's grab two way road. What? Alright, okay, so the strange freaky animal noises were coming from the zoo. Hooray for the zoo. Do I have what I would call the space to plumb you into the center of the city? Yes, is the answer. Or not? Let's uh, turn the snapping back on just a little bit. Why am I thinking about that road? Well, because it does really connect to the, very much the centre of the city. It wouldn't, I wouldn't have to move anything larger or more annoying out of my way. I can always potentially move that fountain. This is a fantastic fountain. But it can go somewhere else. Space for the by a road. On. Uh -huh. There. So I'm happy, suddenly happy.
Can you double die from there? Okay, you can go lower. That is a very low metro line we've got going on that way. So I suspect actually the answer is yes we can, but possibly not from this side. In the interim, I will move you back. And you were uh, high density residential. Well, that road wouldn't be a bad choice, actually. If you look at it, it connects in with this district. I do want to dump it right in the heart of the city. Move the carousel part. Delete that little passageway. Okay, go down from there. Oh, yeah, you're just a building. It's already occupied by what? How can I connect up? The metro line is really deep. Selecting that better road. Oop. Oop. Uh, the transport tower. Sorry to uh, bother you a little bit, but. Um Need to get down underground. So, can't put a road across there at that height. Can I put one across at negative 12? No. Straight line as well. Can I go down to negative 36? Yes, I can. Okay.
boxing, perhaps. Yeah, I figured it would. I figured it would collide directly into that bit of railway. I can, however. Really? Slope to steep? Alright, how far can I move you? There. Nice. That should give me the space I need to work with. So, yeah, give me this one. Done. Nice. Right. There. The one thing I could do is I have a spare enormous part. Nope. The answer is not quite. A large playground instead, perhaps? No, it's not nearly large enough. Fine, we'll just have to have a power line. And then we will paint with. Offices, the uh, peculiar space we've got left. Right, okay, so we now have that loop brings this guy directly into the centre of this part of the district. It goes into the residential area slightly more than it does the commercial area, which is actually down this end. So we want to fix that. Well, there's an easy way of doing so, really. Because um, I don't really want to move my parks. Overall, I think I am. I'm going to accept the location of that. It's just, it just gives you uh, the average the three districts: Hippo, this end of Menagerie, and the Eagle Skies. I think it will provide the extra access that I want. Which means no time to run the rail line out. Okay, give me a straight line. So a bit of a bridge, yeah. Done. Alright, so that's that bridge in. Hmm. Where would be a good place to put the next one? Well, I was originally talking about putting one out here, so I think that is what I will do. Also, you should have bobbed and weaved that one, but I think I will plug that one in by connecting those two lines up over here, bringing that one over here. So let's do what we did previously. Stage this off just a fair bit by having it on this side. Actually, we made sure it's a straight road, like so. Then we will grab our cargo terminal. In. Grab our highway connections. So if you're going that way, please be rejoining. Put me down a bit, I think. from that direction to that direction. So, actually, let's put, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's put the rail line in. So, you're coming from over here. 
and we'll keep you straight because this is the area where we're looking at expanding spider industrial all the way to there and then you're going to climb across this down to ground level and then you're heading Or over here. Like that. Not quite though. So that, that station is on a essentially on a cul de sac. There's line. Where are we going? I'm trying to get down to over here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, well, we've learnt that trying to go under these things is normally a pretty bad idea. So let's put a straight line bridge across here. for a tunnel. Oops. It's not like we can get too far. Because we've got that junction there, so... Straight road, or a straight line, bring us across to here. Yep, okay, right now, let's grab that road. Dive. Where's the railway line? There's the railway line, okay. Up there. Oh dear. Park problem. It's fine. So, come up to all, we'll switch to that type, so, up to 12, surface, connect, right into here, Connect. Okay, so we've got a huge long railway dived all the way under our motorway. Go and have a look. That will give us 
good loop route all the way around here, which I think will help greatly. It's connected up in such a way that... Well, that's a depot, that's a drop-off. Not, not much gets delivered here, which is fine. But that might be... Well, just go the other way around. The train network is pretty uncluttered. So let's plug this one in. Uh, come up to ground level. Pretty uncomfortable junction. Now we need to get our road network in. So you are going in that direction. So there. They will always be want to be on that side anyway. If you're leaving, and I will have the two junctions. So there, and one of you. Walk around to that point. The other one. Turn to there. Nice. You will need power and you will need water. There's some water. small amount of industrial. Right. Plane. So today's episode has been about railways. It's been a railways episode. So we've got a new railway junction here. We should hopefully provide reasonable access to the centre of our system over here. Now these roads are likely to get much traffic in the other direction for the simple fact that they don't go anywhere else other than here. So we should only see commercial traffic looking to deposit their loads here. We've got Oh, that's a point. I didn't put you back. <laughs> We've got buildings on fire, yeah, well, the fire services. We've got a new depot here, connected into a railway system for getting trap, uh, getting goods to the feather and turtle tourist trap just that quicker. Possibly even have hippos as well. And we have a new train station here, just you know to connect in. Most likely, it'll be picking up. Um, goods coming from here, but it will do also just help just that little bit more in sorting a few things out. Now, interesting. I have noticed um, quite how snarfed those were. <laughs> Uh, I will fix that just now. Like that. Apparently, when I was building that little bit of road, I uh, apparently believed the roads went in the other directions. Uh, one thing I will do. Is connect that up. So that anyone wanting to get from the far yet to from here to that railway station do so with rapidity. All right, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a railways episode. I like trains. There you go, there's your meme. 
Please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this Let's Play of City Skylines with the After Dark expansion. Please leave any comments if you've got suggestions for names, district shapes or designs. And let's find out in the future how well the new Spider Industrial does. Bye for now.